In this video, I'm going to show you the various settings you can use to capture data in the ergonomics module here. So I'm going to move this over a little bit so we can have a little bit more room here. I'm going to bring up my uh, Excel sheet here. And what I've got here, I'm going to use the standard group as an example here. So notice in column C, whatever's in column C, that's the uh, item you see in the group list right here. So it's a standard group. And then we get type. And then underneath that, we get lifting, force, posture, and so forth. So you can see here the standard group is a heading. Here's the type, the second level. In the third level, we have the lifting force and posture. Now, you notice we go all the way out. There's also an F and a G column. This means you can actually go to five levels deep here. In other words, this would be the first level, this would be the second level, this would be the third level, and you can go to the fourth level and the fifth level before you get to the end of the branch here, where you define the type of item here. Now, what's happening here, the type, the option here says checkbox. And what that means is you can check any one of these. You see, I can check as many or as few as I wish here. And uh, there's no exclusion there. So in this particular example here, if I put it back the way it was and bring it back up, these are all check boxes, and we've elected to check four of them as representing the types of stresses here. But then the percent down here, this is actually just an option. I've got between 10 and 100% can be set here in units of 10. And you can see they're set up over here in exactly that same way, 10, 100%. And units of 10 but these are options and what that means is you can only pick one of these so if i've got 50 checked right now if i check 30 it will check 30 but deselect 50. if i select 80 it will select 80 but deselect 30. so an option button you can only pick one in the range here that you have that's you only get the option of picking one in the range that you have here but further down here, you can see we've got a document here. Now, a document is an image that's going to appear. If we go down to the uh, the neck here, you see a little information mark right there? That's telling you, you can click on that to see an associated document. You can click right on this and it would bring up information. That information flag is coming from the selection of the document here. And then out in the right here, in the column marked K, supporting document double click on this column to select the document to be displayed. So this is going to create a link from, in this case, from the neck item here, which is flagged as a document. You can come over here and I could attach a picture to it, double click on it, and I can select, a, let's say, a GIF I want to show here. And that would then be put in there. And if I load this up again, that would then be presented when you click on the eye information icon up at the top left here. Now the document is important that you realize that you can only put that in column C. So in other words, each of your major headings here can have additional information associated with it, but it will only work in column C. And it's going to give that little information flag right there beside the, uh, the neck here. That's what's putting that in there, the fact that you've selected the document. Let's see what else we have we get down here. These are all standard checkboxes and options. Those are probably the most common ones. But now we're down here with, with the frequency. Now it's input integer. And you can see that's just the selection here, input integer. And in this case, you might want to define, you might not want to, but you might want to define a range. So the valid ranges would be between 1 and 220 here. And it's the same for the uh, measured. The force is measured. The value is between, in this case, 10 and 220. If you put in a value that's not in that range, they will get an error message. I can show you this one, for instance, if I go back over and we find that that's under body force. So I'm going to go to body force on the right here. And I'm going to come down here and here is the frequency. You see it right here on the right here. I click on it and it prompts me and it even tells me the frequency. The minimum is at 1, maximum is 220. So if I put in 100 here, it will store that away there and it stores the value right here that we've already selected. You see it checked it right there. Now here's the force, and it's between 10 and 220. So let's just say I make a mistake and I put in 320, and I hit the save, you'll get a warning message here that it's out of the range here. So therefore you want to put it inside the range here. See if there's anything else we have right here. We're gonna go back over a little bit to see what we have. You see the more input integers here? Right, one to 140, so again, all the different options here. Here's the input percent. Now, this is an interesting one. Here we are saying for the standing and the walking and the sitting and kneeling, the stress, these have to add up to 100. So what I'll show you this one, if we go to the standing and walking here, here we've got this one here. So I can click on this and it shows me the three different values that are being associated as one. 
you can change these values here. Let's say that was 25% and this was 50%. It has to add up to 100, so if I put 53 in here and I try to save it, it's going to tell me that it's not right. It's not 128, it has to be 100, so I'm going to put 25 in here. So now you can go back down here. So these selections have to add up to 100, and you can see the values it's putting in here. Say if I pick on any one of these, it'll bring up now a selection of four different items that have to add up to 100 as well here. Let's cancel out of that here. So you can see you can do many different things with the formatting of your data here to capture the data. Let's see if I see anything else here. Weight in kilograms, that would be the one down here where we come down here. And you can see weight in kilograms, just click on it. Again, give me a minimum value and a maximum value. So if I make this full size again, so the idea is you put everything into the Excel template. And then when you're ready, you're going to load it directly into the Timer Pro package to be used by all your users.